the James Webb Space Telescope took the first image of a planet outside of our solar system, opening a fresh window into understanding distant planets and showcasing the telescope's vast potential. The discovery supports Webb's potential as a powerful tool for exoplanet research. The telescope, jointly developed by NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency, was launched in December. It started collecting scientific data in June, using its 6.5-meter-wide primary mirror to study the universe from a location about 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. Given that it was able to get a picture of HIP 65426b with such clarity, it is likely that it will be able to capture images of even smaller planets, such as Saturn or even Neptune, that orbit other stars. That would greatly advance our knowledge of distant planetary systems. Before we proceed, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. To receive an immediate notification of new videos, click the bell button. Have you already taken that action? Okay, let us get going. HIP 65426b, a planet similar to Jupiter but younger and hotter, is located 107 parsecs from Earth in the constellation Centaurus. It is the first photograph of an exoplanet ever acquired at deep infrared wavelengths, allowing astronomers to investigate the entire brightness spectrum and chemistry of the planet. It provides us wavelengths we have never seen planets at before, says Beth Biller, a member of the Discovery Team and an astronomer at the University of Edinburgh in the United Kingdom. About HIP 65426b According to Sasha Hinckley at the University of Exeter in the UK, being on Earth sets a sensitivity floor to what we can detect, and at this day, the lowest mass planet we have been able to identify is about two Jupiter masses. The so-called Super Jupiter exoplanet HIP 65426b which has about seven Jupiter masses and orbits a star 400 light-years from Earth, has now been directly imaged by Hinckley and his colleagues using JWST. The scientists captured it with precision and threw out a wide range of infrared wavelengths previously thought unattainable. HIP 65426b is simpler to visualize. The researchers test the exoplanet imaging capabilities of JWST because of ground-based telescopes. They discovered that JWST was significantly more sensitive than any prior telescope and performed 10 times better than predicted. History and the Discovery Niku Madhusudan, an exoplanet researcher at the University of Cambridge in England, was not involved in the new research but believed Webb is ushering in this new era of the atmospheric science of exoplanets, says Science. Initially founded in 2011, according to Dennis Overby of the New York Times, According to the Times, it orbits its solar at a one-eighth distance between our Sun and Mercury, making it too hot to support life similar to Earth. The odd exoplanet was found in 2016 and has baffled astronomers because of its reddish hue. They thought that some kind of atmosphere might be responsible for the shine. According to Forbes, observations from the James Webb Space Telescope have supported those hypotheses, showing that VHS 1256b must be encased in dense clouds filled with silicate grains resembling sand. The Time of the Telescope's Space Launch Some discoveries have already been made by the Webb Telescope, which was launched at the end of last year. These include identifying the most distant galaxies ever seen and taking breathtaking pictures of Jupiter. Additionally, NASA indicated an interest in using the telescope to observe a recently discovered exoplanet 100 light-years away which scientists believe may feature an ocean of liquid water. Past theories and the announcement of the discovered planet. For the first time, the atmosphere of a planet outside our solar system has incontrovertible proof of carbon dioxide. According to recent research from the James Webb Space Telescope, it cannot be disputed, it is there. It is unquestionably there, says Peter Gao, a planetary scientist at the Carnegie Institution for Science and a co-author of the study. To Lisa Grossman of Science News, previous observations had shown some indications of carbon dioxide, but never to this degree. The Telescope Information The telescope's infrared eyes can detect objects and features beyond human vision because they can see through dust and gas. To assist filter out starlight, the near-infrared camera and mid-infrared instrument also have so-called coronagraphs. 
The first image of an exoplanet taken by the Webb telescope resembles a pixelated light bulb, but it showcases the observatory's infrared capabilities. The star symbol represents the star of the exoplanet HIP 65426b, which Webb obscured in the image. How far into the past can the James Webb telescope see? The most potent telescope ever constructed is the JWST. It can detect light emitted by the very first stars and galaxies thanks to its technological improvements include a collection of extremely sensitive gold-plated mirrors and a sunshade the size of a tennis court. This will give us a peek at the universe's appearance after its inception 13.5 billion years ago. How does it have that kind of vision? No telescope in space has a mirror as large as the JWST. A telescope may gather more light if its mirror is larger. Eighteen smaller hexagonal mirrors make up the huge primary mirror, which is 6.5 meters (21.3 feet) across. The gold metal, best suited to reflect infrared light, is extremely thinly plated over each tiny mirror. The mirror will capture longer wavelengths thanks to the JWST's configuration and enhanced sensitivity. The famed Hubble telescope was far closer to Earth than this highly developed telescope. One million miles, or 1.5 million kilometers after launch, it traveled to the outer reaches of Earth's gravitational field. It takes four one-way trips to the moon to travel that far. Using Webb's near-infrared camera and mid-infrared instrument, four distinct light filters were used to get the final image of HIP 65426b. What is the significance of infrared radiation? Infrared radiation is only electromagnetic radiation with a longer wavelength than visible light, although it may sound lethal. Consider light from the sun traveling to the Earth as a wave. Now extend the wave even more. We experience and use infrared radiation regularly even though our eyes are not designed to see it. For instance, the TV remote you use to operate your television uses infrared radiation. At an infrared wavelength, the Earth also radiates heat that we can feel. Due to the impact of the universe's expansion has on light traveling from thousands of light years away, the JWST was designed as an infrared telescope. Astronomers will use this telescope to investigate the light emitted by the first stars and galaxies. Since this light has been traveling a long way to get to the JWST, the expanding cosmos will have stretched into infrared radiation with a larger wavelength. It is known as redshifting. The JWST will also investigate exoplanets that may harbor life, although visible light cannot penetrate their occasionally hazy atmospheres. Infrared radiation's longer wavelength allows it to penetrate interference and produce a clearer image of the interiors of galaxies, dust clouds, and nebulas. Because the JWST is searching for infrared radiation, any additional incoming light and heat from other stars or hot objects could skew its images. To avoid this, NASA engineers created a five-layered sunshield that will maintain a cold negative 220 degrees Celsius for the mirror and equipment. The ideal conditions for stargazing in space. What will it look for? To pinpoint the beginnings of their evolution, the JWST will be looking for stars and protoplanets in the far reaches of the universe. In particular, this telescope will shed light on the physical processes that led to the development of the first celestial objects, as well as the chemical composition of the gases and substances that make up the building blocks of our universe. The JWST will also search for exoplanets that might have liquid water, perhaps a clue that our galaxy may contain living organisms. Additionally, scientists will learn more about the development of black holes in galaxies' centers and the whereabouts of dark matter. The JWST was founded for what purpose? The Hubble telescope, the most cutting-edge telescope in use right now, is aging at the age of 31. Throughout its existence, Hubble has contributed to the discovery of innumerable new planets, moons, and galaxies, the exploration of nebulae and black holes, and the determination of the universe's age. However, there are certain restrictions on viewing the far reaches of space because the Hubble telescope can only read visible light and only circles 340 miles from Earth. We can view farther into space with the JWST, and perhaps find answers to some of the unsolved puzzles Hubble itself uncovered. In my opinion, the fact that we have only just begun is what is most thrilling, Carter stated in the statement. There will be many more photos of exoplanets that will influence how we see their physics, chemistry, and formation.
we might even find some undiscovered worlds. The video comes to an end here. I trust you had fun with it. For more videos like this, do not forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to click the bell icon to receive instant notifications of new videos. I will see you in the next video.